All right, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... He is a mighty Lieutenant Rakira at your service. Um... 
Yes, yes. The square for the hat was tilted? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and welcome back everyone to Dust and Elysian Tale, where we'll be wrapping up some side quests and then the main story itself. And after that, with likely half an hour, maybe an hour, we'll be moving on to the Count Lucanor. So let's see if the game finally wants to active, actually work with the controller and the first try with this. Yep. Okay, it does not. The heck is... What the... Okay... Okay, that was weird. For... Apparently it thought that uh, OBS was the selected program, even though this ga the game was reacting to the controller and everything, which it shouldn't if it's not the active game. What? what? Uh, but, yeah. Last time we got to the Everdon Basin, where, well, the final battle is uh, currently on hold. So, yeah, let's go do some side quests while we still can. And one of them will be this hidden cove here. I'm pretty sure I've never actually gone in here. This is where uh, that one guy's girlfriend is supposed to be. And it's a freaking maze. Okay, let's try up. Okay. And there's a bomb. Or that's a, a wall that needs to be bombed. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, we'll be doing some side crash. Okay, just had an itchy nose. Okay. Don't have an itchy nose when handling explosives, Hill. Yeah. Okay, now come the heck on. I hope we are making things. Okay, we're back here. Don't tell me I need to blow that up again. Nope, luckily enough. Okay. I have to maybe realize something. Then you're an alchemist. Will the a sneeze be one of your biggest concerns? Yeah. It's like, okay. You're handling some very sensitive material. You just, you just need to one single drop. And suddenly sneezes and have a big explosion. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How do you think I lost my eye? Well, Hello there. so you have many stories about that. Are you? are you Sarahi? Don't worry, I'm a friend. Please, just stay back. Sarahi! Mosca? Mosca, is that you? Yes, Sarahi, it's me. Oh, Mosca. Denim was destroyed. Everyone was killed. I... I was so scared. You don't have to worry anymore, Sarahi. My friend Dust here, he stopped that menace in Denim. Those monsters destroyed my home, Mosca. I... I don't know what to do. We'll go back to Aurora, okay? You and me. We'll figure something out. Will you two be alright? I think so, Dust. Thank you. For everything. A single survivor in the whole village. One is better than none. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay, and we get a teleport stone to get out of here, so let's <laughs> let's use that before we get lost again. Uh yeah. So hmm. Uh, all right, we need to use it from a sit from here. I'm <laughs> being dumb. <laughs> okay. Well, that's at least one story concluded. Now, we have a box to return here, one that we dug up from the underground, and I believe there is something outside the village that we still need to do. There's probably still yeah. a bunch of secrets all over the place. 
but yeah, we're just going to tie up some loose ends. We're not going to go for everything. If you, if you want to see if, if there's anything with this game at 100%, uh, <laughs> well, the game should be reasonably cheap. Dust, I owe you so much. I can't believe what Sarahi has been through. Without your help, well, I, I just don't want to think about it. Is she going to be all right? Yeah, I'm taking care of her. She's still pretty shaken. She lost a lot of friends. Hey, um, I know this might sound a little weird, but could I get your autograph? Wait, what? <laughs> well, it's just, after everything you've done for us, for this village, for everyone, really, I'd really like something to remember a true hero by. I honestly don't feel like too much of a hero. Oh, come on. Don't be such a downer. Hey, I'll sign it, too. Every hero needs a sidekick. Yes, usually for comic relief. Hey! <laughs> oh, darn it. I don't have any paper on me. Could you grab some from the shop? Here's some money. I'd go get it myself, but I'm a sort of blacklisted. How was I supposed to know those displays would fall over so easily? Don't worry, I'll go get your paper for you. Okay. So you doing better? What dust is it? I I'm sorry about before. I was so scared I forgot to thank you. Don't worry about it. Are you going to be okay? Yes, I'm safe here with Mosca. I just... I have a lot to think about. Stay safe out there, okay? Yeah, she's going to be carrying that for the rest of her life. Yeah, poor thing. Uh, it's, it's Box Boy. You found it! Quickly, give it to me! Relax, Reed. It's just a box. Just a box? No, no, it's not just a box. Didn't you hear it whispering to you? The whispers. The lies. I'll say. They told me the box was filled with cupcakes. I opened it up and nothing was inside. Oh, oh no, 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 you opened the box! Why did you open the box? I told you not to open the box! Quick, take it back! I can't hold this! Bidgets! Hey, what are you doing? I thought you wanted your box back. I went through a lot of trouble getting that. Yeah, we had to find this girl in Mudpaw and then make her a doll that looked like me, then trade the doll for the box. Honestly, it was a bit roundabout. <laughs> Do you know what you've done? You've unleashed the power inside this ancient prison, and now it will consume your very soul! I can't tell if he's actually telling the truth or just uh, a bit broken, so to say. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. it's hard to tell. Okay, Reed, I really think it's time you went inside and got some sleep. I think... Wait, what's happening to me? There's something... something wrong with me! Reed, what was that? What's going on? I feel... I feel... weak. Like something sucking the life right out of my body. Okay, he might have been telling the truth. Then it's already started. Oh, why did you have to open the box? I said not to open the box! Look, let's not dwell on the whole who opened the box thing. The box was open. That's in the past. We can't change that. We should be focusing on the future and, you know, less about me. The presence inside this box, it latches onto your soul, tries to take over your mind. The only way to stop it is to break the barrier between body and soul. In other words, Dust, you will need to kill yourself. Uh... Reed! It really is the only way, Dust. You mustn't take too long, or... or you could end up like me. You know what? I love this plan. I'm happy to be a part of it. Fidget. Shut up, Fidget! I can feel my life draining away every moment. Reed, what do I have to do? Travel outside the village, pick a fight with some monsters, and lose. If you do it in time, the presence latched onto your soul will be shaken loose and returned to the box, and you will return back to your normal self. That is, assuming you do it in time. 
test you can't seriously be considering. Fidget, I don't have time to argue. I can feel it draining my life away. We need to get out of the village and fast! Okay, I think we are going to need one of those revival stones. So, uh... Okay. He, he's flinching like he's taking damage, but he's not actually taking damage. I have the best selection you'll ever find in this store at this moment in time. Please, look around. So basically... Uh, not as much use that uh, claim is. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And we can take one. And if it isn't if it isn't used up, then we'll have it for the final fight. Yeah. Uh, no, it's the paper. There. You honor us with your patronage. Please tell your friends. Your rich one. At least he's being sort of honest with his dishonesty. Yeah, do he does look rather desperate. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. I believe there are some heat. There are some monsters here. Uh, oh, uh, oh, we're we are lo we are losing health. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be annoying. Where are the monsters? Not here, it seems. But the fact that we get knocked down every so often, that is going to make platforming uh, difficult. Okay, yeah, it's not here. So, oop. Okay, that was lucky. Of course, that heals away all the damage taken. Let's go to the glade, then. There should be something here. Though, with, with the fact that we're on the low difficulty, this might take a moment. Uh, also, uh, probably helps if we take off anything but regen. Uh, there. Oh, we, okay, can unequip. Uh... Just everything off and just wait. Oh yeah, they re they really deal a low amount of damage now. Uh, this might take a bit. Is there anything we can eat that actually deals damage to us? Uh, no. Well, um... <laughs> At least it's going a bit faster than I thought, but... Uh, yeah. I don't remember if I did this quest before or not. I think I did it before. And... Are they, are they just taking pity on us now? I wonder if there's a special game over for dying to the the damage instead of getting killed or at least hurt enough by a beast. Okay. It looks like they get more active when I'm actually moving. <laughs> but, yeah. Once we're done with this game, we'll be starting on the Count Lucanor, which is a survival horror game, or very much seems to be like one. And I, I know absolutely nothing about it, so we'll see how that goes. We know that it's supposed to be relatively short, unless I get my dumb ass stuck somewhere, of course. But, yeah, it shouldn't take too long, and well, as a survival, as a survival horror, it should... Well, it, it, it's of course very fitting for October. Where's yeah, the other one? Yeah, kind of what we took them in, in saving it. Essentially, as it's rather short, as you said, so this means, like, other than this, I uh, thought we could do for October was things like, uh, Fear of the Dark and such, but it was a bit longer. Okay. So having shorter horror games or spooky games, 
feel, seems rather a good idea for us. Yep. Did that do it? Are you okay now? I think so, yeah. As soon as I took that killing blow, I felt something. Like a weight lifted. We should check in with Reed. Yeah. The sooner you get rid of that box, the better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that took a bit of a turn, so yeah, let's get the box back to him. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's some side quests that I think we shouldn't go for. Like, mostly finish up quests that we already have the stuff for and such. And I have no idea where we might find snowflakes for Bopo and such. So, yeah. yeah we need to deliver the sheeps. That as well. All right, Mosca. This feels a bit strange, but here we go. What do you want your autograph to say? Uh, <laughs> uh, hello there, nightly night. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. <laughs> okay. Uh, what were you playing and how are you doing today? Let me give you hello, a quick welcome. shout out. Uh, let's see. Nightly night with an underscore. There we go. Is that going to work? Ah, there we go. Uh, ta -da -da -da. Great. Okay. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Okay. I've never played any of those games myself, but I have seen playthroughs of pretty much every single Ace Attorney game. It might be a recent one that I missed or something. But uh, let's see. Ta -da -da. <laughs> Hello, Marco. You bring the raid over, I'm guessing? Or you brought the raid over, I'm guessing? <laughs> But yeah, again, uh, how are you both doing? Uh, how's your day been? And well, thank you for being here. And yeah, Marco <laughs> thought so. Uh, how about two Mosca, my greatest fan? All right, there you go. Your friend could sign it too. Aha, uh -huh. there you go. What is that? A paw print? <laughs> What? That's how we sign our names. See, it says right there. Fig Jit. Well, uh, great. <laughs> this is great. You two are just... just swell. Good luck out there, and thanks again for saving Sarahi. I'll never forget it. Uh, <laughs> what the...? <laughs> hmm? What? Someone fire firework over here. Yeah, for now it's, now it's your turn, huh? <laughs> Uh, let's see, nightly night. Uh, I'm being great today. What about you? Doing pretty well. Just back from dinner when I started stream. So I might be uh, a bit <laughs> burpy here and there, but I'll try to cover it up. And uh, yeah, this game that we're playing is Dust and Elysian Tale, which, as you can see, is a, a very pretty game that got uh, didn't get as much attention as I, I'd say it would have deserved back in the day, because... Uh, yeah, when this game came out, somewhere in the 2010s, I think, uh, there were still a lot of th people who thought uh, Furry, oh, that's gotta be uh, kinky you know, shit and such. <laughs> now it's Drakia's turn for background distractions, indeed, yeah. Uh, and also, I'm also right, doing well. Damn, I got that nice day. Blow managed to shake the presence free. I'm back to my normal self again. I'm glad that's the case. Anyway... I was planning on using this Revival Stone on you if my plan didn't work, but it should still serve as an adequate reward. Wait, what do you mean, if your plan didn't work? <laughs> well, it did, didn't it? So, now I have no use for this Revival Stone, and you can take it. Hopefully, you'll never have to use it. Yes, well, you keep that box under lock and key. We're just lucky that kid down in Mudpod had the common sense not to open it. I will never let it out of my sight again. It's my burden to bear, after all. Good luck, Dust. You know you could bury it, right? What else whispers to me? No. No, it can't be. The trees? The trees themselves whisper an ancient song! Somebody must chop them all down to silence their lies! Okay, I think on that he's just nuts. Goodbye, Reed. 
And yeah, that was a side quest where we were asked to find basically Pandora's box. <laughs> and then it started leeching off of our damn soul. Uh, let's see. I've seen that yellow flying character before. Yeah, that, that's Fidget. And she has been well-liked outside of the fandom, I believe. <laughs> because she tends to be rather funny and snarky. Let's see. Marco, you could even say it was a good day. If you don't get this, I'll be disappointed. Yeah, I get that that's a reference to something, but I'm blanking on what exactly at the moment. Actually, uh, here's a problem with that, what Moki just did. Many shows and comics and manga and such have used that line. So knowing hmm. which one it's referencing to will be a challenge. Okay, Gihan's watch, Fane wants imp hides. Do we have imp hides? It's a song made. It's a, it's a in reference to a song Ice Cube made. Okay. Who? Let's equip our stuff again. Uh, Ice Cube is a rapper slash uh, actor, I believe. Oh, no one. No, no, I don't recognize the name. I heard Ice T, but Ice Cube. Let's see, I think there was something about him recently turning out to be a complete ass or something. Do we have them? Please, let I'll keep my Okay. So we even with all the it. stuff we've gotten, we've not gotten enough imp heights for that. Oh well. Yeah, uh, let's we can deliver the sheep. Yeah, and clear. Find... Oh. Uh, let's, we were also asked to find Gihan's watch, so I'm guessing that's going to be down here in the pits. Okay. Which is a lot easier now that we're not getting knocked around. Uh, let's, oh. Right? Oh. There we go. And now we need another one. Oh! Yep. That's it, Marco. We have a game we are ready to start playing once this game is done. Uh, yeah. What was the name of again? Uh, the Count Lucanor. Thank you. And we're already play we we're already playing uh, the Dark Side Detective. Which is also rather fitting, I'd say. Though it's more comedy than horror or anything. Yeah, but it's kind of funny. I, I actually bought a new Disgaea game. And the uh, humors all kind of... on the same level. They, they all seem like, uh, different on their own, but they are... both sometimes dark humor. Or lightly dark, I guess you can say. Yeah. But I, I have a hard time to classify Disgaea humor. Yep, there's the pocket watch. So can we bring one? We can bring these across sideways screens, but can we do the same downwards? No, because I I heard the ticking stop. Okay. Um. This is from Marco. I know was good spooky game as a suggestion. All right. Let's feel free it. to yep, feel free to suggest. Okay. Okay, I like this. This we're actually puzzling with this a bit. You don't let it hit the spikes because then it will blow up. Okay. And there we go. Let's see, The Strength. Can't say I've heard of that yeah. game before. What's it like, Marco? Where I? Okay. You gotta wonder how the hell his watch ended up down here after... Uh, not after, but behind uh, a, a bunch of walls. But... Yeah. yeah. Maybe. And the area was getting torn up by uh, tremors and such. 
Let's see, 2D horror game that takes place in the UK. Okay, feel free to link it on the Discord if you want. Okay. You found it! Oh, this is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Uh, other than save your life? Well, I don't know what I mean. I always look surprised. Remember? Yes, well, I meant aside from that. Thank you so much, you two. I have little to offer in return, but here, take this set of treasure keys. Thank you, Guillen. I'm glad we were able to be of service. <sighs> Having this pocket watch back puts my mind at ease. Thanks, Dust. Okay, that's another one. Uh, let's see, now question, you want the cheaper version, original, or the remaster? Typically remasters are better, but not always. Yeah, there are exceptions, man. The, the remaster was clearly made by people who was either lazy or didn't care. Yeah, like uh, the, <laughs> the MDK2 HD version. Yeah, all was the scenario clearly lacked the skill to even do it. Or Let's other cases where they, they say they remastered it and they actually just end up making an entire new game that is not remotely similar. Yeah. No, that one, later one is a rather rare one. Okay, let's see. Remaster has better graphics and sound design. Gonna link it in the... Uh, okay. Uh, this bring, should bring us back to mod pods. It you know, it brings us back here. Do we have anything new to say, maybe? I am saddened that my actions have cost an innocent life. I fear that unless you are able to stop General Gaius, even more lives may be lost. Okay. Yeah, she went kind of, uh, mad. Yeah, we'll, I'll take a look at it, and we'll see, uh, after stream, then if it, if it might be something for us to, uh, well, try and stream in full. I might put it in a showcase, at the very least, just have a look Get at them it. Chunks, boy. This makes a good heap and plate of blop-inspired justice with a side of... A side of beans, because beans are delicious when you pair them with justice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I thought we had enough fingers for that, but <laughs> apparently not. Uh, let's see. The sheep are over here, I believe, or delivering if you the sheep. Find all six of my sheep. I'd be much obliged. You'll recognize them by their sparkly wool. Wait. How okay. many? Wait. How many do we have? Let's see... The five, we're missing one. Oh, we need to fly! What? Okay, oh. then where the hell is the last one? Okay, well, that's a loose end that we're not tying up then. Uh, let's see... Nightly... I do find that indie games are more enjoyable nowadays. Yeah, definitely with how uh, the quality of AAA has been going down the drain more and more. Like... Do we yeah. need to even point out recent examples? Yeah, like, I heard that the new Assassin's Creed did not go well at all. And from what I've heard, it is good, but it it steps things back a lot. And there's, there's also there's the fact that uh, Ubisoft added in uh, DRM after the reviews were in. Uh, so, yeah. As as I was told it was an overpriced DLC. I have heard it uh, say. I have heard it described as uh, being like a DLC for uh, Valhalla. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, one of the cats is meowing up a storm. Okay, let's take a quick look around for any. Uh... You feed your cats. Let's take a quick look around for any red mushrooms for the quest. Ow. But if we don't find it, then we'll just move along. And that's a dead end. Are they... I heard something recently which I've been wondering about. 
The people wonder what happened about the 13 million billion dollars Ark made by Valkhard. Yeah. And uh, someone called Nublet may have a theory. It seems my secret is Apparently, out. Apparently, yes. the boss of Snake Games had a... Try to believe Elon Musk can have a car company to make a gaming car. It's so basically an idiot. bankrupt. So there's a... Maybe I don't know if it's true or not, so take this as a rumor, but it seemed to him that he may take all Wildcard's money on his car attempt. <sighs> Honestly, it wasn't that much of a secret. So you were keeping watch on us this whole time? In a manner of speaking, just making sure you were well supplied for the journey. Well, we appreciate the help. I am glad, my friend. Anything you need, you just let me know. Okay, speaking of... Yeah. But yeah, that explains why they are needing to do an Ascended not free, but for money and to borrow money to finish the game. What the heck? Yeah, I, I don't recently a block from Snail no game from that video makes me wonder. Yep. As in, it, yeah. It, Makes me feel like, yeah, I should not bother with Ark anymore for the future is not good. Yeah, especially when there's an idiot like that in charge, then nothing can be trusted about it, really. Because it's even more... if the game, even if the games are made great and such, when there's just an idiot in charge, then everything can, can come oh, crashing down any more, second. Oh, there's more, Killian. There's more. I just... There's a lot I, can, I, I can't say on Twitch is the problem here. Which makes... I think you get the uh, idea how bad it is. Okay. Get them chokes, boy! This bitch... Uh... Wait, I have your... Uh... Wait. All right. We collected that. Uh, is there anywhere we can s look at the junk that we have with us? That's materials. Egg games and Wildcard are not a tube of egg games. Oh. They are indie games, actually. So they yeah. are probably an example of when indie games try to be AAA. I, I, I would probably say that they started off as indie, but got so big that it's uh, not really worth it anymore. And yeah. I did it. I did it the wrong way around. I accidentally sold instead of bought. Okay, luckily, our merchant friend is nearby. But yeah, we'll just have to wait for someone else to make a a good dino survival game or dino, yeah, dino the, taming survival game. Yeah, there was one at the same time. First one, Stompy Lands, which became off later because the boss of the Stompy Land took the money and ran off. Yeah, let's see. And there was Martin. a game called Beast of Prey or something. Which was at the same time as Ark. Well, uh, Ark was in uh, Axis and... I am suspecting... I tried to look in for it and I did not find any some fun old videos. And I suspect it got heavily outcompeted by Ark. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, Marco. Well, I just realized the original was a mobile game, and the Deluxe is a remaster for mobile and PC, and it's only five dollars, which is surprising. And the original is free on mobile. Okay. Here you go, Blop. Four Trolk fingers. Don't spend them all in one place. Woo, Daisy! Bet I could play the piano with these puppies. <laughs> that's assuming I know what a piano is. You done right by me, son. Here's a little token of my appreciation. Why, <laughs> Anno? What the hell? <laughs> uh, Tell you what, since you're in the hunting mood, maybe you could help me with my tape. Uh. I don't see how those two things relate. Also, I don't want to see how those two things relate. Okay, I'm clipping that out. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to be using that. What's wrong with your teeth, Blop? <laughs> Aside from the fact that I only got one left, I've been wanting to construct me some dentures. And if you can bring me ten rockhound teeth, I'd be sitting pretty. Er, smiling pretty. 
while I'm sitting. I've been keeping track of all the things people have asked you to do, Dust. This is probably the creepiest one so far. Okay, wait a minute. There's paper, pen, a pen. Oh, I keep losing my blasted pens, but yeah, I'm going to make a quick note of the time so I know where to clip without no needing to look all over the place. Make the recording after. Here's ten rockhound teeth, Blop. I'm sure your new teeth will be the talk of the town. I think I'm all set. Thank you, son. Ain't no one gonna tell Blob he can't eat corn no more. <laughs> oh. Well, that was easy. Night, dealt night, with. Um, the only game Orc has, the one called Hearthstone, is Orc, and maybe some spin offs of Orc, and so they all only done one game. Technically, yeah. Are you sure? Thanks to Snake Games being so greedy, One Court is in a bad situation. Like, they have one good game, really. But they're not been given enough proof to be able to spread out. Yeah, they, they basically, uh... What's the word? What's the word? There is a word that's... Crush uh, the meeting cow? No, but they, they've... They've over-specialized, like, I, there, there's a word that's used to describe actors that have just been only, that are only get cast as a certain type of character. Uh, typecast, they've typecast themselves into a whole, so basically. Yeah, this is sad. Uh, but again, yeah, I do, I'm happy there are actually many indie games that are all doing well. And some have been able to do more than one game and keep, still do good content. And there have also been good publishers around, like Welcome Coffee back. Stain and Iron yeah. Gate. And let's see, Nightly, yeah, props to single dev games. Uh, someone, you know, someone to certainly look out for that, or actually two people. I don't know if they're only single devs now. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the... What was the name? Jack Pope? The one behind uh, Papers, Please, and uh, Return of the Obra Dinn. And... Uh, right. um... I'm dumb. I misunderstood neither. I thought they made a, a, a dev studio. They, made one, they mean a game that's made only by wing, one dev, don't they? <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, why cause has a team to work in a walk, not one single person. Okay, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, it's, it looks like we've just never gotten any imp hides at all, so... Uh, you honor us with your patronage. Please, tell... Thank you. Wait, I'm pretty sure we have had some imp hides, and you even sold them. Hmm, unless his inventory is different from the other one. I think it might be. Uh, where do we even find it? Oh, thank you for the follow, Nightly Knights. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow! Uh, let's see... Over here should be an easy way to get to a merchant. Just gotta fall all the way back down. And yeah, uh, Jack Pope, or... It, it'll be probably easier to identify them better games. So yeah, the, the one behind Papers, Please. And uh, a return of the Obra Dinn. I am in. And also uh, the Swedish one, the behind Noi to Love Two. Uh, no, well, just Noi to Love, Noi to Love Two, and Iconoclast. Iconoclast is a game that I highly recommend to anyone who who might find, take a liking to that game. Yeah, it was. What I forgot which year of the year for uh, game of the year for you. It might be the game of the last year for you. For it was, yeah, it was last year we played it, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, like we've been at this for a bit over two years now. Yeah, so sometime in spring will be our third year anniversary. Your child's with to say. Yeah. But yeah, uh, last year's game of the year was Iconoclast. Definitely. And which one was for this year again? Uh, I'd say Dave, Dave the Diver. Yeah, Dave, it was Dave, yeah. It... Just realized again. 
Yeah, it, it, it came banging at the back of my head just a split second before you said it yourself. <laughs> but yeah, that, that is actually getting an update somewhat, uh, somewhat soon. So I'll definitely be making a video or a stream about that. And I think that's it for the side quest that we can relatively easy complete now. So time for the finale then. Yeah. Okay, time to face down General Gaius and stop the Moonbloods from uh, being persecuted and slaughtered. And yeah, did they put the whole damn battle on on hold so we could continue on our side quests? Okay. Oh dear. Moto, yeah. I recommend Iconoclast to Knight here. All right, someone else would play that. Yeah. Oh, that helmet looks derpy. Yeah. Get back here, you. Okay. Yep. Come on. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to fight our way through whatever's left of their army. And deal with the, the genocidal general himself. Yeah. I guess I still swear some of these soldiers look more three D than two D. Yeah, I didn't mean. Want to ask you a few times why if it, if it only me noticing it a lot? Like the airships. Definitely are 3 d not that we've seen one show up so far with this. Yeah, but the one that looks most 3 d is the enemy soldiers here. All the ones seem still more 2D like us. Yeah. I guess maybe it's a way to make it easier to tell them apart from the Moonbloods. Maybe, or it was a earlier animation style attempt that they just left in we can't go on any further those enemy cannons are far too powerful you'll need to find a way around their flanks so you can destroy them well that looks easy just go down here and hello ah hello again my friend i suspected you would return Let's see, Marco. I think doing the combo breaker side quest will be especially hard, will be hard, especially if an enemy breaks your chain. Yeah. The, your transaction is most appreciated. I think the easiest way to I think I have done that one in the past. Oh. But the trick is to uh, unequip all of your gear. If, how the heck are you supposed to get that? Oh. Un unequip all of your offensive gear. Ooh. There, oh. And go after a big target, so you won't kill it that easily, as long as you manage to avoid its attacks. Now, and avoid lava. You still not added a Wilhelm scream here? No. I'll get to that Monday. Okay. And Why Monday, Monday we can also do it. Uh, because then we can also test uh, if uh, a window preview gives you a better view of OBS or not. Uh, also, uh, okay, okay, okay. I get you. Also, I get you. Also, hello, electrical lights. Who's gonna pay that electric bill? <laughs> not dust. Though we have plenty to pay, actually pay it. And they flew! And it sounds like, actually, yeah, it's like, they, these guys are using stolen tech from the Moonbloods. Yep. Danger of it. And they turn to use them to exterminate them. Yep. Um, Hypocrites? Yeah, more like uh, ensuring that nobody else 
will be able to use that technology against them. So, them would to destroy the moon boss or... Oh, for love of... Now, we still don't know the full reasoning behind Gaius, but he's just been committing genocide, so whatever reasoning he does have, it's not reason enough. Like, there's yeah. ever enough reason for committing genocide. I agree Which with that the needle. There. Okay. He's a tyrant without realizing it. Or he does, but refuses to admit it. That was what I said! <laughs> now, if he doesn't realize it, then it, he thinks he is doing the right thing. Okay. Yeah, it could just also be that he's just, yeah, murderous for a murderous sake. Like, I, I, I watched up a, a little bit about the uh, Khmer Rouge lately, and, uh, yeah, all I can say about that is that that was just evil for evil's sake, no matter what justification they tried to throw at it. They just wanted to thief them of their own. Also, I like that the artillery is literally shaking the roof. Hello? I find it concerning for it might shake things loose. Yeah. And the I don't think you're a speed for handling that. It's, can we get that? No, we can't. We need... Dog tags. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. Let's see. Welcome back, Marco. Okay. Time to silence Let's the guns. There we go. Now the Moonblood survivors can push on again. Okay. I do wonder what. I hope we get to answer to about the king. Let's see. I don't remember if we do or not. We'll have to see. Okay, I think we might have blown up one of the moonblocks with that. Yeah, for people say more angry with the Gaius than the king, this makes me wonder did he kill the king or something? We'll have to see. It's dependent of the marsh. Or is it... Actually... I would not be surprised if this is a shine king or something. Hmm. One thing Sounds I do good. know is that people think that a new Dust game is in the works. Because for the 10th anniversary of this game, which came recently, the uh, developer actually released a comic, uh, or a short comic, of the game uh, about the characters, or at least about Fidget and Dust here. Oop. Okay. So that has some people thinking that uh, they're working on Dust 2. That, or they want to do something uh, else with the world? As simple as a homage. Could also be, um, like, fans can Fans can overread a lot in things. Yeah. Actually, you and me probably do that at times as well. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. Basis. Okay, there we go. Okay. I'm getting a bit tired of fighting all of these soldiers now, but we are literally fighting an army, so it makes sense. But the annoying thing is that they keep dodging like that. The one with the short spin, I want the one with the spear with the bayonet. <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard you like spears, so I put a spear on your spear so you can spear while you spear. 
Uh, I, I can't get some exotic design of species in and such, but that design looks rather dumb and impractical to make. Hello, what have we up here? Fire, death, doom. And likely the way around the artillery because I can hear it going off. Ow. Okay, how did I miss that? Okay. There. Okay, get rid of this thing. Yeah. Yeah. The soldiers are just really annoying to fight with their dodging and the, the fact that they will actually counter our attacks as well. But it makes sense, they're a professional army, but that still makes them really annoying. Okay, long swords and... I will be surprised and actually I don't know how I react if I sell them at the eight violet on the swords. Let's see, Marco. It seems my brother and parents have gotten back from their trip. Okay. Alright. Hope we're doing well. One of these finally again as it phases through the floor. Ow. Okay, silence those go uh, Did I never do that before? <laughs> Apparently. Maybe I left the last ones there. Because we were underneath its firing range anyways. Oh well. Now let's get this stupid thing out of the air. Yep. Another. Yep. Freaking dogs. Here. Yep. Even more. At least we have help. Yeah. And we have plenty of healing chicken. Right, the more look at those baby babies them dumb of the look. <laughs> there we go. Like, but both spearheads are double edged, which means you have one double edge against the shaft. And it looks like you can hold behind it, just uh. That's night. Uh, I'm surprised this 10 year old game looks this good. It also looks fun as well. Yeah, it is. I I'm playing on the easiest difficulty because, well, mostly for story and such, and plus this would get really annoying having to deal with these bastards. Uh, but yeah, we are at the end of the story, so... Uh, if you, if you want to play this game on your own without the end spoiler, uh, you might want to step away. I gotta say, many games from this era that were animated like this and before have aged really well, I say. Yeah. I, that's the thing with uh, graphics. You can go, you can try to go for photorealism as much as you can, but if you're if your graphics lack style, then it's all going to look the same, and it won't stand out from the crowds. Yeah, and they age rather poorly. Yeah. As the graphics uh, systems update and all that, and it makes more and more apparent. Yeah. These are not so much. The games that are more... Cartoon, 3D, but cartoony and such also each rather better. Yeah. Because again, it's as you said, they have more style and personality. There we go. Oop, big boy.
there. Now, I should probably try to use more magic against the soldiers since they don't have a way to defend against that. Yeah, do, as you should clarify, we don't hate hyper realistic uh, animations. We did that through a few games with it, we have liked so far. Yes, we are not gonna blindly ignore that there are problems with it. Yeah. Okay, almost 8 p.m. in Britain, so I'll get you know, going for some dinner. Okay, enjoy that uh, nightly. And yeah, <laughs> I'm right on. I'm yeah, I'm right across the small pond in the Netherlands. <laughs> so hello, neighbor. Dinner at this hour? I, 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 I'm so old-fashioned. <laughs> what? Well, still, have a good meal. Yeah. Little night and night. I am here to serve. Okay. Oh, so, just, you, you should have given me a hood like that here for this stream. <laughs> I might see if I can make one. And yeah, dog tags, an identification tag from a fallen soldier. Wait, it is rather... This kind of thing is kind of illegal to use them to smell Your transaction into a bar. Is most <laughs> I guess. Then again, uh, yeah, I don't think laws matter much now at the moment with Guy is hopefully having gone rogue. We'll see. That may explain a few things. And yeah, you, you can see there's definitely a difference between the looks on their models. Like, the. the, the the Moonblots are definitely drawn, but the soldiers look very much more 3D. Yeah, I guess. Wait. See you around, uh, Knightley. Wait! Is it Knightley? Wait! Just a moment. Lower your weapons. I said lower your weapons! You have much to answer for, General. And what of you, my friend? A year ago I heard stories of your death, at the hands of a child, no less. Now here you stand, not only alive, but leading the very creatures we've been charged to destroy. You've been charged to destroy, not me. What happened to you, Cassius? Hello there, Pizza. Hello, Pizza! Cassius. Do you not remember your own name? What have those damned moonbloods done to you? What did you call me? Cassius! That's who you are! Don't listen to him! You're Jin now! Remember that! I... You're remembering now, aren't you? Together nothing stood in our way. We shaped this world together. And together we can finish what we started. You ordered the deaths of countless people, countless Moonbloods, Moonblood sympathizers, anyone that stood in your way! Yes, and you carried them out. Lower your blade, old friend. First we destroy these Moonbloods once and for all. Then I can help rid you of these fantasies that have spoiled your mind. Just listen to me. Cassius was my name. That doesn't matter. It's all that matters. All those people I killed, fidgets. How could I possibly redeem myself in a mere few days? You cannot, Dust. This was never about redeeming Cassius. But then, you are not Cassius. But I share his form, his very soul. That doesn't matter! Why do you keep saying that? Because you're not just Cassius! Jin didn't kill those people! Jin saved Aurora and Mudpot Village! Jin stopped Fuse, saved Lady Tethys, and now he's the only thing standing against General Gaius! Cassius would destroy the Moonbloods, but Jin... he would protect them. No, Fidget. You're wrong. Jin didn't do any of those things. Then you've finally come to your senses. Jin is dead, as is Cassius.
Their souls now live within me, constantly reliving that fateful day, forever in battle, forever at odds. But as long as I live, I still have a choice. Then what are you? I am Justice Incarnate, brought to this world by forces beyond your comprehension. A cleansing storm to sweep across the land and purge it of your foul presence. I am dust, and your campaign ends here now. Throw down your weapons and surrender, or you will face an enemy unlike any this world has ever seen. Cassius, please don't do this. You know you cannot win. Let's end this. Somewhat pizza. It, it's a mixture of 3D and 2D. Like I love the, I just love the fact that the blade remains 3D no matter what. Yeah, save it, hit blade. Hmm. Could this be the, one of the other blades of Elysium? Since we were told there were five. Yeah, and he said they were. He was charged to do this, so the king did order this. Maybe, or could be divine, divine charge bullshit. Like we'll have to beat him out and beat it out of him, probably. He might also just be lying. And again, if it is a child king, we don't know who the king is. Yeah, could just as well have been deceived into it. Yeah. And yeah, this is the tr this is the throne room he's been in all this time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Sit still, you bastards. Yeah, let's see here. From Ran Marco. Basic pizza is he. Well, basic, uh, what? It, play nice, you two. Uh, pizza. I'm currently playing some Fortnite with a streamer. Cool pizza, 3D animation. <laughs> Yep. Second phase. You cannot win, Cassius. You never could beat me. Stop calling me Cassius! There was a time when you stood by my side. We were allies once. Not anymore, General. I'm not your ally, and I'm not your friend. Now raise your blade or drop it. You never could scare me either, Cassius. Very well. To the death! Yep. And we're getting help, it seems. That motherfucker knows magic. Now he's going to have a chance to practice it. Yep. The Ow. magic looks around the door. Yeah. And again, dark does not have to mean evil. Yep. Third phase. Don't you remember anything, Cassius? Why would you draw your blade against your fellow soldiers? Why would you draw your blade against me? You're destroying this world, Gaius. You and your soldiers cannot be allowed to continue your campaign. This world belongs to the strong, Cassius. It belongs to us. Don't you remember your duty? Don't you remember your friends? I remember everything. And it changes nothing! <laughs> Okay, so that's why he's just one of those might right makes right idiots. So we'll see how mighty you prove to be. Oh, oh, he actually managed to deal enough damage to kill us. Luckily, we have that uh, revive stone, huh? You read. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Okay, where did all that damage come from? Because he doesn't actually seem to hit that hard. As I say, he hits like, what, an eighth of our health in one hit? Shit. Now... Has he drew the bomb at you? I don't think so. Come on. Okay, that would have been hilarious if that level up <laughs> was the end of him. Uh, oh, uh, I think you want to read the chat when you can. Let's see. Oh, so he's a jock. Not a big fan of the... Uh, so of when that... you can! <laughs> I, I can see, still see the gameplay when I'm looking over to read chat. Now, time for you to have a bath. Temperature set to 30,000 Kelvin. Or whatever. Ow. Uh, kill him and make sure he burns from what sins he has committed upon this land. Now, get me out of the. Motherfucker is bonnie hopping in the air. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a dog or something. Or a cat. Some sort of. Yeah, uh, doesn't really it's matter. A dog. What was he planning there? Okay, no erupting.
Through the actions of our Sen Mithrarin Dust, the Moonblood race is finally free. We will never forget his sacrifice or the deeds that saved our very world. We shall always remember what happened here. Dust's sacrifice will allow the Moonblood race to rise again, to rebuild our glorious civilization and live peacefully among the races of this world. Though it may appear that dust has fallen here today, a force of good is not so easily extinguished. Saint Mithrarin was born of dust, a current of winds of change, a harbinger of storms yet to come. So I just want for them to return. Yeah. Also, I think they... Sometimes they were a bit of out of sync. Yeah. Oh, hello. Bopo and his father watching over. Yeah. yeah as it is, if there had been an animated series of this, I'd be okay for it, but it has their good potential. Finally together in the afterlife. <laughs> and back at Aurora, life continues. <laughs> Someone with very, very, very itchy underwear. <laughs> and yeah, these three, their adventures continue. Someday, somewhere. Guys is gone. And the world can heal. Emily Khan? That sounds familiar. <laughs> oh, Lord, I hate this so many names. I hope I don't know if I recognize or not. <laughs> okay, Dean Dodeville would like to thank Microsoft Studios and the XPLA team, <laughs> wife, my wife, children, and family, and to an ever loving God. Uh, High Product Sound Works, their family, uh, the, the Michael Corvin for an awesome logo. Uh, okay, a lot of thanks. Toon Platoon. Samurai uh, Pizza Cats? <laughs> okay, I did not expect them to get a reference here. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? I think all the good things I said about this game, this is horrible. Yeah, Drakir doesn't like the Samurai Pizza Cats. It's too chaotic for his taste. At least the American dub version was. Just what the heck? <laughs> you can say I still don't like this game. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Okay, a bit over time than we guessed. Uh, an hour 13 about. Yeah, look, had we not done the side quest and got the stuck on some, we'd probably be done all with already, but still. Yeah. I, I think we can still do a start of the other game. Yeah. Okay. Elizabeth. Okay. And uh, now the fact that dust is shown as a cloud form here makes a bit more sense. Yeah. But, I guess yeah. we now need to ban vacuums. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I'll, ha I'll end the recording so it'll be easier to cut this apart or you know, no real reason to cut it apart. But yeah, I'll end the recording for Dust and Elysian Tale and then I'll start up uh, the Count Lucanor. And we'll see how that goes. So, yeah. <laughs> Pardon? Uh, anyone's watching, anyone who's watching only for Dust and Elysian Tale, thank you all for watching. And, yeah, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. A bunch of for Undead Seagulls. Uh...